traditional and then bracket is scheduled tab and map three you'll see the matchups that are due to commence on map three right now we have the women's gi brown belt and black belt professionals heavyweight so under 95 kilograms the silver with the red belt and mayara moreira with the black belt here working off the back position Trying to pass the arm across and funnel that right leg across the body. We're up to potentially chase the leg here. She can clasp both her legs across. She's got to be careful about the count footlock though on that right leg. You see there De Silva looking to grip. What she's going to do is reach around with her right arm to secure that figure four. And she can roll off towards the uh, footlock. At this point in time, though, her right leg is a bit of an issue. Not so much from the submission attempts, but the fact that in that bottom side position here, Moera could pass the leg across and create a disbalance off to the right side and utilize that to get to that top position. And with the silver with a two-point lead already, so I think De Silva's using this opportunity to stay in the top position, didn't chase after the footlock. A wise decision as well, given how much time's left on the, uh, the uh, timer here. And, and she can look up at that at any time to see how much time's left. She can literally see how the fight is transpiring with regards to points as well as time. Three point lead here now for De Silva. Warrior on this bottom position with the lasso. Offers her affordance to get a disbalance off to the left side of her body. Also prevents the guard pass. At this point in time, though, here, top position from De Silva. She's using the shoulder. Heavy pressure, looking to strip the grip there with the opposite side leg. Where inverts through. Has the potential to chase the triangle from that position. Doesn't get it. Take a look at the heroes podium here, bottom right hand the corner of your screen. The athletes don the podium to receive their medals here. And later on the lucrative prize money. What looks like potentially an injury to the left leg. Mayara, Mayara here being attended to by the medics. You can see that there's potential Bad injury to the left leg. Could be the knee. After we see knee injuries in the top position of an athlete. Let's see if we can check out the replay and figure out where the, uh, the infraction took place. It's always sad to see the athletes at this high level get injured. Here we see Mara in the top position trying to pass the guard. And you can see there from this angle, the leg was caught. Yeah, maybe the LCL in the knee, the outside ligament. Just flexed her leg to the outside there, put some pressure through the ligament. Could be a possible ligament tear there in the leg of Mayara. Interesting to see it carry on. Miara looked like she damaged that left leg. And is that going to be something that the silver goes after here? Or starts to exploit the fact that the uh, balance might be compromised on the left leg of Mayara? Mayara again looking for the uh, double underpass. Exposes the back potentially. Silver back to the feet. Jumping guillotine there for Mara. Doesn't get it. 
Advantage though, Mayara. Yeah, and this changes it now. Mayara, last person to score. Still two minutes on the clock. De Silva now has got to pull the trigger and start to go. Looking to pass the guard. She can skip off around to her right side as well to facilitate this guard pass. She's got to peel the legs down and use the chest to stack the legs. She's got to free that right arm as well at the lasso. Looks like she's going to try and stack past the lasso grip here. But the second she lets Mayara open the guard up, the hips and the knees towards the sky, she offers the affordance of the leverage. So you can see here, preventing the guard pass. She skips across and immediately that inside grip. Nice work from the silver though to strip it in this instance. See there the compromised left knee of Mayara. She was not really readily available to drive forward and get back to her feet and wrestle. Instead, she pulls guard. Again, this is going to put pressure on that uh, the LCL lateral cruciate ligament on the outside of the knee it's one of the positions we sometimes see it flex too much and it starts to get injured is this position here where the, uh, the foot is turned in towards the body Leon Belly there for the Silva Mahara trying to frantically chase the foot here looking for the knee bar gets the angle Nice regain of the angle there from the silver. That looked like it was close to being finished. She hunts after the uh, straight foot lock or the Achilles lock. Nice work from the silver there to skip past. Silver up three to two. Twenty-three seconds left here. And there's an extra three points for the guard pass. We saw glimmers of hope there from Mayara chasing the submissions and even regaining the points advantage. But uh, the silver taking that away. Silver from AFNT. Myra from GF Team. Time's elapsed. A valiant attempt though from Myra given the injury. But the Silver is victorious here for the heavyweight quarterfinals.